everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, today I'd like to share entries 5, 6, 7, and 8 for my giveaway challenge. Um, starting with this one, and I won't put the envelope over here because it's got her address on it. Um, this is entry number 5 from Tora Gears. And this one's come all the way from Iceland, so that's really, really exciting. Um, thank you so much, Tora, for taking the time to create this. Beautiful, beautiful page, and I love the colors. Here she's got a little owl charm, and then this, this little pocket opens up. She's got a beautiful little journal card in there. I love that. You're going to hear me saying I love it a lot. I noticed in my last video when I edited, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how many times can you say love? <laughs> but I do. I just get so excited when I uh, receive mail. So this is a little journal. Oh, it opens up. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's an extra bit of space, and that image is gorgeous. I can write on that within the journal. She's done a lot of collaging here with various papers, and I love the daisies. Life is sweeter when shared with friends. That is so true. Beautiful. So you open this up, and uh, she's written a nice little letter for me, and I really appreciate that. That was, um, you know, what I was hoping for with, with this challenge. I wanted to have a little note telling me about, you know, each person as a reminder Look at this little booklet she's made, and those papers are beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, the little hearts inside the signature. That's gorgeous. Beautiful papers. She's got some lace up here, a leather big pocket, and then this is a double tag. Oh, I love that, and I love the little sayings. Really, really sweet. This is beautiful. She's got one of the, um, I think that's a Tim Holtz. It might not be, but it looks like one of the Tim Holtz um, people. And then on the back here, she's put Tora 2020. I love that. And then she's got the handcrafted. That is gorgeous. And this is actually, she's cut that out and put that in there. That is beautiful. Because you've got that extra bit of texture by doing that. That frame is gorgeous with the little birds on there. Oh, Tora, thank you so much. That is going to be beautiful in the, in the journal. So thank you for that. We'll keep those together. I'm trying to keep everything organized so that um, in case any hiccups occur. I've still got everybody numbered and um, together. Okay, so this is entry number six, and this is from coming from Florida. This is Annette DePete. Put the envelope over there. And Annette has written me a beautiful uh, letter, and I really enjoyed uh, learning a bit more about her. Beautiful page here. Look at the fussy cut here, and it's got some glitter within that. That's beautiful. Same on the butterfly pocket, and then she's layered that pocket, so that's really pretty. And then she's, she's layered, now that's handmade paper. She's layered along that edge, and that's really gorgeous. And then she's got a little tag. I love that. And Oh, sorry, that's her email. And it's got a handmade by Annette tag there. That's precious. And I will keep the letter with this, um, well, with each of them. If, if you've sent me a letter, I will tuck it in so that I have that in the future when I go back. And then on this page, oh, I love that. She's done that double pocket. Um, and... She may have seen it somewhere else, but I've just recently discovered that from Pam off the paper outpost, and I love the way that pocket comes out. And then she's taken the time to cut all these little sayings out so that I can use. Love that. And they're all related to um, friends. How sweet. 
Really, really thoughtful. Thank you, Annette. That's precious, and she's done a beautiful flower here. Some pretty uh, lace on that book page, and then look at the flower. That's beautiful. She stitched that button in there with the lace, and there's multiple layers. I love that. Over here, she, that's the uh, handmade paper she's made an envelope with. Oh, it is beautiful. Make sure I don't tear it. Oh, I love that paper. I, ooh, it's, it's thinner than uh, the paper I've got, but I like that because for making envelopes, sometimes you can just get too much bulk, but that is beautiful. And here this coordinates with the front, and this is a journal card she's made. Oh, oh very, very nice. Thank you, Annette. She's written me a nice little note back there. That's beautiful. And then she's got the little closure there, so that'll tuck back in. Beautifully coffee. It looks like coffee stain. And then she's come back and stenciled on that, so that's nice. And then on the back here, she's created a belly band and a big pocket here. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, how unique. Oh, and that, I love that. I might be pinching that idea. I'd never considered using the butterfly as a tab. I love that idea. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. A lot of inspiration coming from these entries, guys. And that's what's going to be so nice is to have that journal where you can pull it out when you're in a... <clears throat> you know, we all go in those periods where we can't get it together, and it'll be nice to, to look through this and get some ideas to spark our creativity. And this is some more of that beautiful handmade paper. And she's made a little notebook here. I love it. That's a beautiful shade of pink. Beautiful. So I've got a lot of the writing space I can do within that. This is this is fantastic. And the papers she chose totally me. Thank you, Annette, so much. I, it is very much appreciated. I'll tuck your little letter in here. And then when I um, get that stitched in, I'll put the letter in the pocket. So thank you so much, Annette, for that. Yes, it's been uh, really exciting because... I don't get a lot of mail unless it's just my uh, things I order, you know, for supplies and all. So it's so exciting to um, to have the postman bringing me something nice. <laughs> okay, so this next one is from Colette Conker. And this one has come from, I believe, Colette's in, she's in Ohio. And uh, I don't know why. We've been communicating on Instagram. And I'm not too sure why I had it in my mind, Colette, that you uh, were from Tennessee. I don't know. In my mind, that's where I envisioned you. So it was a surprise when that came through. And I saw you were from Ohio. So that's exciting. And she has done a beautiful... Look at these. Look at that dragonfly. That is gorgeous. And you know I love the charms because I am charm challenged. Beautiful. Oh, it's just, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is the front. And she has, oh, I love this. She's got a little pocket here. And oh, let me just see, guys. I think, um, I think these must have come in that pocket because they had fell out Colette, when when I um, opened it. I think those must have went there. That's beautiful. So this is a like a big file folder journal card and I like how she's done that. That's uh, something I wouldn't have thought of doing but I like the idea of that tucked in there. That's beautiful. And then she's taken the die cuts I think if I'm sorry to call out if that's not where they were, but that's how it came to me. So I'm just going to keep them there for now. And then she's done some, um, she's reinforced the spine here. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Beautiful lace along the edge. 
and she's done some distressing and I love that. So then when you open it up, oh, gorgeous pocket. Hmm, now I'm curious, that looks like a die. So I'm really, really intrigued by that because I love that. I've seen, um, if I'm not mistaken, Nick the Booksmith did one, but she had taken the X-Acto knife and done it, and I tried it, and I thought, oh, I can't be bothered. But I believe this is a die because she's got the little stitching around it, but isn't that a nice die to have? And the papers are beautiful. Totally me because you know I love the butterflies. And then look at the gorgeous journal cards she's put in. Some sorry, and that is a gorgeous shade of green. I think she knew purples and greens were were my favorites, so she's obviously tweaked that and uh, remembered it. So thank you. That that means a lot. This is gorgeous. I love how she's done that. That is absolutely beautiful. And another um, die cut that she's embossed, so that's got more texture as well. I love it. And then she's included these beautiful, um, co I believe I believe it's, it is coffee dot. I can smell it. And look at the stenciling on that. <coughs> that is beautiful. So that was really, really thoughtful, Colette, to include those as well. Because I can certainly um, sew those in so I can have some more writing space with that. Thank you. Uh, what it, what's, hey, what's going on here? Look at, she's got a three. These are, are they the same? It might be the same, yeah. But it looks completely different because of the layering. Oh, I love that die. Gosh, that's beautiful. Um, oh, that card. That's a beautiful tag. Okay, so I'm thinking, and she can correct me if I'm wrong, this looks like you know the Tim Holtz has got those wildflower um, die cuts I've got. He must have a coordinating stamp. And if he does, that's got to go on my wish list because that is absolutely beautiful. Look at the way the color is varied uh, from the purple to the pinks and the green she's used. Oh, beautiful, beautiful tag. Absolutely stunning. Oh, Colette, thank you. A little, um, this is one of those little mini um, file folders. I've got, I've got one similar to that. That's beautiful. And she's reinforced that as well. And then on the back, she, up here, she's got a nice big, oh, look at her stenciling. That's beautiful. Oh, gosh, I'm, ah, I wasn't going to craft today, but I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to, after this, I'm going to have to get in my space. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. And I love this dragonfly. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be on the lookout for some of those things. <laughs> I never get to... Um, there, there's not really shops, a lot of shops here to browse for things. So on my next trip back home, I'm going to be having a closer look at some of the charms that Hobby Lobby and Michaels have. That's beautiful. Oh, sorry guys. I'm... And look at this. This is just so, so pretty. Look at that. She has stamped that. Mm, I, I'm going to have to get with her on what. I don't know if this is a t technique of maybe the distressed oxides or distressed inks. But I love that. That is just so, so pretty. Look at that. She's even folded all that back up so it fits in. Love it. And then this is absolutely gorgeous. Now that's an altered envelope. And I love this. The greens and that purple are just... That is me right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Now the other thing she sent me... <laughs> There's a second part to this, guys, and this I thought this was really sweet. She sent this as a little uh, birthday gift for me. So I'm going to just open this up. Look at that beautiful piece of metal there. Pocket here. Oh, I bet that's where those 
Ah, I bet the flowers went in with this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, and there's more. Oh, Colette, thank you so Oh, look at all of these. Oh, this is great. I love it because I can certainly make use of these. And it's always so nice to have different... Um, that's a beautiful one. Look at that. It's so nice to have some different die cuts because you can't afford to buy everything on the market that you see. And these are beautiful. Those papers she's chosen are just gorgeous. And I love that little book plate. I don't have a... I think at one time I had a book plate die and then I didn't think I was going to use it. I sold it and now I wish I had it. But look at these beautiful beautiful tags and she's backed all that with lace distressed and then come back and put these that's amazing love it and here again oh, I've got to try this I just got to that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and so let me sit that over so then this this flips over so you got a beautiful oh look oh, I love it <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm just getting, I just love this kind of stuff. Beautiful little card, these tags. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to get to playing around with these. I'm just so excited to get this journal put together, I can't tell you. And again, she's given me even more of those. I don't think I've got that die. That's beautiful. I definitely don't because I don't have that. That's just really nice and another tag here so I can do some writing on that love it thank you so much you you really didn't need to um, you didn't need to go you know all the extra work but I sh certainly appreciate it Colette I really really do it was very very kind of you and then on the back here I love how she's done this look at that she's She's run that through, so I've got extra writing here. And her coffee dyeing is gorgeous. That sari is beautiful. And those papers, look at that. Beautiful papers. Colette, thank you so much. Uh, it is certainly, certainly appreciated, and it will be treasured. <clears throat> and she also included... Um, I won't show you that because she's written me a, a note, but this is a big um, journal card, but it's got a private note for me. And look at that charm on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Colette, thank you. It is just gorgeous. And entry number eight. This has come from the Netherlands and this is from Debbie Martin. Debbie has written me a really nice little letter and look at all that beautiful trim and the embellishment there. So that was really really nice. Thank you Debbie for doing that because I, I really do appreciate it. Um, if this is her entry. Absolutely gorgeous. Greens and purples again. Yes. <laughs> uh, beautiful this tag. Um, it's stunning. This is uh, vellum. And I don't know, I'm assuming she's printed on that. And then she's got the paper showing through. And that is absolutely beautiful tag. I must, must have a go at that. And then look at that image. Beautiful um, seam binding. And then she's done a double pocket here with some gorgeous uh, lace. And then the little butterflies. And the paper that she's chosen is just beautiful. Beautiful uh, lace along the edge there. And then this is a big pocket. And look at that. And that little snippet is just beautiful. The fabric, oh, the beautiful button. Look at that. 
all that layering and collaging. I love it. And it's been backed with tea dyed or coffee dyed. Um, so I've got a nice bit of writing there. That is stunning. And that tucks into that nice big pocket there. And I love how you can still see it. It hangs over. Beautiful. So you open up inside and here she has stamped on some fabric. Love that. Love it. Love it. And then she's got this. This has got like a gold um, design within that. I don't know if that that feels like it might have been a scrapbook paper. And she's taken old book page behind and the images she's chosen are just beautiful. Look at, oh Debbie, this is just gorgeous. Uh, again, she's stamped on there. Beautiful laces. She's got a beautiful lace collection. I can see that. And again, she's back that. Just a beautiful journal card. That fits down in there. I love how it just, it's just beautiful to look at. <laughs> and then that flips over. Uh, she's, she's just thought this out. Another bit of st uh, stamping on the fabric, which I love. And back that as well. That is gorgeous. Beautiful pockets. Her stitching is beautiful. This flips over and this is all <clears throat> backed with tea dyed paper. Got the trim along that. I love that pocket and I love hydrangeas. So just totally me. Totally me. Oh, and she's even included the bees. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, Debbie, thank you. This is such a beautiful entry. So you've got a nice backing here. I don't know. I don't recognize. Hmm. Those papers are beautiful. And so I've got room. If I wanted to, to put a photo here, got the room for it. And then here we've got, in this, she's got another big pocket here. Whoops, stuck. Now her seam binding, it looks like she's um, maybe hand dyed that. So, because it's got, it's varied and I love that. That's beautiful. Another gorgeous snippet that she's done. I love her snippets. They are so dainty. And then this opens up. This has all been backed and stitched. Just beautiful. So I've got a lot of writing space in here. I love it. Love it so much. Set that to the side. I'll put the um, the light, the ribbon back around that. And again, another snippet. That that's just beautiful. Beautiful work. And then on the back here, she's got, um, she's written, you know, her name on it and the date, which is great because that'll, that'll be nice to, <clears throat> to look back on. And then this is an Edith Holden um, pocket and she's done some stamping again, a lot of collaging there. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, I love those images. That's a nice stamp. Really nice. And then I love that little journal card she's made. Isn't that image gorgeous? These are beautiful. The, this has even got some tiny doily. I've never seen doilies that small. That's beautiful. And then she's supposed to cut all that. Debbie, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I appreciate all of you <clears throat> so much for um, <clears throat> part participating. Excuse me, let me just have a drink of tea. Thank you all so much for participating in this. It means so much to me. And, um, well, just thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, guys, that is it. I'm going to get these all organized and I will be back uh, later. You guys take care. Have a great weekend.